So verse 2, you get the first of what we call the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They're all here on this, on, in these first eight verses of chapter 6. And, and it's probably worthwhile to say God is sharing with John some symbols to help him understand that God has a plan. Remember, we talked about four. There's this idea of four corners of the earth. Now, we all know the earth is a globe, and there's not technically four corners on a globe. But if you take you know, a, a crosswise of X, Y axis, you basically can go north, south, east, and west. And the horses, in some ways, are also symbolized as they go throughout the whole world. Exactly. So this first horse that we're introduced to, or horseman, he's riding on a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. So that first thousand-year period seems to be focused on a whole bunch of, of conquering, which then leads you to the second horse, which is red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and they that should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So we get peace removed during that second thousand year period. And then the third in verse five is riding on a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the, of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Seems to be a, a period of, of intense famine. Now, you will notice that there, there are a lot of examples that you could go through in the Old Testament in that first thousand year period with, with Adam, with Seth, with Abel um, in that first thousand year period. In the second thousand year period, you've got Enoch. You would have the, the events with Noah and the Tower of Babel in the second thousand year period. In the third, with this black horse and periods of famine, think about how many famines there were in the Old Testament stories, beginning with Abraham, with Joseph, Moses, Joseph in, Egypt. Joseph in Egypt, all of that famine, all of that a need for a measuring uh, device, and things are very expensive to buy because there's famine in the land. And then you get to the fourth, the, which would be uh, the second half of the Old Testament. I looked and beheld a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. And power is given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. So you, you get those four horsemen, and people often try to bring those four horsemen of the apocalypse back to life in our day. And the reality is, is Joseph Smith found out in his question and answer period with the Lord in section 77 of the Doctrine and Covenants that you don't have to wonder about these because there's a pretty clear description of where they fit, and we're studying history right now. Hence, pan optic, a view of everything. So right now, we happen to be looking into the past, not to just satisfy curiosity, but to learn from the past, to recognize the stories and where they, they may be messed up and where they did the right thing, and learn from that so that we don't repeat the same struggles and we can actually repeat the same covenantal blessings that they received because of their faithfulness.